Texas Democrats are suing to block a new state law. It all centers on temporary early voting location booths set up for a couple days at colleges or nursing homes. The new law essentially says that once these booths are set up, they cannot be moved anymore anywhere else. Democrats say that's going to restrict votes. Why? Well, let's ask Manny Garcia. He's the executive director of the Texas Democratic Party. Good morning to you, Manny. Good morning. So in the past, these booths could be set up and then taken down and moved to another location, but the state law says they have to be set up and remain in place for the entire period of early voting. Why is that so necessary to move them around? You know, we believe democracy thrives when more people are able to access the ballot box. Mobile voting was one of the pillars that county governments used uh, to make sure that we could get polling locations near where people lived, near where people worked, uh, in, in, in order for them to have accessibility to vote. Now, we understand elections and the burden of the, the cost of the election is on all of these 254 counties out across the state of Texas. Uh, so they used mobile voting as a tool in order to open locations, let's say on colleges or nursing homes or particular government sites uh, that were near where people were at for a certain period of time in order for them uh, to be able to access the ballot box. So now counties are facing the decision that they either have to leave that polling location open for the entirety of the old early vote period, or they need to close it. Well, let's, uh, and well, that, let's that, talk that's, uh, you know, that putting money in front of democracy, yeah. it really shouldn't be the case here in the state of Texas. Well, you mentioned counties, so it's now up to counties to make these temporary early voting locations permanent if they're going to do so. Have any counties stepped forward and said, hey, we will put these voting locations on at this nursing home or this university? We have, you know, we've heard a number of uh, Democratic run counties, Harris, you know, Dallas, uh, now Hayes County, talking about making sure that, you know, some of these polling locations that you had seen uh, opened up for a few days at universities in particular, um, them expressing a desire to want to go ahead and, and make those open for the entirety of, uh, of the voting period. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, it, it's going to be a cost decision uh, that gets made by counties all across the state of Texas. You know, if you look at rural Texas, um, Brewster County, for example, in West Texas, you know, if you don't have a mobile polling location uh, that can go out to a city to pick up 80 voters or 100 voters um, on one or two particular days, then you're talking about voters having to travel 100 miles or more in order to get to a voting location. Um, and that is incredibly burdensome. That is a violation of people's right to vote. Uh, if you look at universities like Stephen F. Austin, for example, uh, that had a temporary polling location, and what if the county yeah. doesn't open a polling location permanently there, uh, then some of these uh, smaller universities may not be able to have an opportunity to vote for those students. There, there's something else in the last 30 or 45 seconds here I want to talk about. There's something political in this that I don't think a lot of people have picked up on, and that is it's not just the Texas Democratic Party suing the Secretary of State of Texas. You also have a bunch of feds uh, coming in, uh, helping out the, the Democratic uh, 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 Congressional Campaign Committee and, and others as well too. Briefly hit on that, this suggests to me that they really think Texas might be in play. You know, Texas is the biggest battleground state in the country, and we are deeply appreciative that the National Party, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee yeah. are joining us in this lawsuit and helping support us to make sure that the voices of Texans are heard. I, I think this is yet another indicator uh, that the National Party is ready to come into Texas to work with Texas Democrats, make sure that everybody is heard, um, and get ready for 2020. All right, Manny, thanks a lot. Good to see you again, man. Take care. Good to see you.